Hey, do you have questions about how to use the zero crossing tool within Audacity to help eliminate some of the pops and no other noises that can be created without using the zero crossing tool? Stick around because that's what I'm talking about in this video. Hey, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Zero Crossing tool and the importance of using the Zero Crossing tool in your podcast editing. The video that you're about to see is for my Udemy course. It's one of the free videos that I offer there. You can go there and, and view certain videos in my course for free. And this is one of those videos. So I thought I'd save you a step and bring it over here and let you watch it here. I hope you find it useful and helpful in your podcast editing. Let's get going. Hey, welcome back to the course. In this lesson, I want to talk about the Zero Crossing tool. The Zero Crossing tool is a tool that I use every time that I edit a podcast, and I think you'll find it invaluable too. So let's get started and let's talk about the Zero Crossing tool. In this screen, I've got the lecture open from, I think it was lecture, yeah, lecture 16, several lectures ago, where I've got this audio file of me just rambling on for the purposes of what we were doing in that lecture. But in this lecture, I want to talk to you about the zero crossing tool. And in order to do that, I've got a little section of audio highlighted right here. The zero crossing tool is a tool that is useful if you have to delete a section of audio that's perhaps right in the middle of a conversation or even breath sounds. You know, someone's taking a deep breath just before they speak and you want to use command L to silence that breath perhaps. But before you do that, I suggest using the zero crossing tool. What the zero crossing tool does is in the selection that we make, example here is this little selection that I've made on the track. Once I select through that section of audio that I want to delete or I want to have out of the conversation, maybe it was a mistake someone made or an um or whatever, which we're going to talk about coming up. In order to safely delete that section of audio, I want to make sure that my beginning and end points in my selection are sitting right at the zero point in my waveform. In other words, I want the beginning and ending of my audio selection points to be set at the silent point within the waveforms so that I don't get any unexpected pops or other noises out of it. That's where the zero crossing tool comes in. The zero crossing tool takes whatever selection that I have and adjusts the ends of that selection ever so slightly to get to the point where the audio is at a complete silent spot within the waveform. I can't tell that that's going on right now because I'm zoomed out too far. Even if I zoomed in, it would get meticulous and impossible to do without the zero crossing tool. So what I want to do right now is I want to zoom in on this piece of track that I have uh, selected here, and I want to show you more closely what I'm talking about. So I'm hitting Command-1 several times, and you can see that we're getting way into this track. We're getting way into this track. I'm going to move over to the uh, to the left here just a little bit. And let's look at this end point right here. And you can see that on this end point, I'm not really at the zero point. That is, it's selected through a portion of the waveform that isn't in complete silence. It's a little bit above it. You can see it right there. And I don't know what the other end is doing, but I'm assuming it's not in complete silence either. So so I'm going to invoke the zero crossing tool, which will automatically adjust my selection to make sure that I'm at the point in the waveform where I'm at complete silence on either end of the selection. There's a couple ways I can do that. I could come up here to the select drop down menu and I can select at zero crossings, or I can just use the letter Z. I prefer to use the letter Z because it's a really simple keyboard shortcut and I do it all the time before I delete a section of audio so that I know I'm right at the silent point at the beginning and the end to eliminate any popping or cracking sounds or any other little anomalies that might come up. But since I'm on the menu, I'm going to go ahead and click on the menu and let's see what the end point of the selection does when I do. And so you'll see that it moved ever so slightly. It moved right to the point where the audio is crossing the complete silent spot, meaning that it's now safe to delete this section of audio or to do a command L to silence this section of audio. Whatever I'm going to do, I'm at the zero crossing on both ends of this selection. And I can do whatever I'm going to do with confidence. So I'm going to zoom back out on this track using command three. 
and you'll see my selection point is still there. From this view, it doesn't look like it moved at all, but it really did. We saw it move, and the other end moved as well. And I know right now, if I were to push Delete or Command L, that I'm at the zero crossing point in that selection. So that's a look at the zero crossing tool within Audacity. In these next couple of lessons, I'm going to show you how to use the zero crossing tool in our editing. So I'll see you there. Well, that's a look at the zero crossing tool within Audacity. I hope that you found that beneficial. Hey, remember, you can reach out to me anytime by going to audacitybootcamp.com or by visiting my Udemy course. I'll have links to both in the description below and also in the header here. Hey, if you like what's going on here at the Audacity Bootcamp, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and tell others about it who might be interested as well. Until next time, I'll see you.